Hello everyone, hope you had a nice weekend. We're back with All Round Health Talk. We are Dr. Celestina and Dr. Olinye. We are going to be talking about a new topic today, which is antibiotics and viral infections. Personally, I'm very happy about this table we're about to shake today because I want us to break it at the end of this video. We're going to be starting with definitions of viral and bacterial infection. What is a viral infection? A viral infection is an infection that is caused by a virus and a bacterial infection is an infection that is caused by a bacteria. Now what is an antibiotic? An antibiotic is a drug that combats only bacterial infections. Let me loud it. Bacterial infections. Now most of us we confuse the use of antibiotics and we tend to use antibiotics for practically every kind of infection we have. It's not supposed to be like that. We have different types of antibiotics. We have bacteriostatic antibiotics that stop the replication or the growth of bacteria. Where we have bactericides which actually kills the bacteria. Now, for different kind of infections, we have specific antibiotics that work best for these infections. We have respiratory infections, we have for urinary infections, we have for intestinal infections, and there are different antibiotics that work best for these kinds of infections. We cannot take any kind of antibiotics and use them for just about any kind of infections. And sometimes we don't even need these antibiotics. So we have to be very careful when we use antibiotics because we can cause what we call antibiotics abuse, which is a very big problem in our population right now. Now, what causes antibiotic abuse? We have a number of factors and we're just going to be discussing a few. First of all, the pressure that the patient puts on the doctors. Sometimes we go to the doctors and then we start to form a to know, like we know everything. Now we sabi pass. You start telling the doctor what to do, what kind of drug he or she has to give you. No, my people, no, you don't do that. When you go to your doctor, I assume that you trust your doctor and your doctor has the sufficient amount of wisdom to be able to prescribe correctly the drug that you need for the condition that you have. So when you go to the doctor, you're supposed to listen to the doctor's advice and recommendations. And if you have any questions, you ask your doctor in order for he or she to explain to you. If he gives you a particular drug and you don't know what that drug is used for, you can ask the doctor, please, what is this drug used for? You do not tell your doctors that you want antibiotics just because you think that antibiotics is best for the infection that you have. Sometimes you don't need it because sometimes antibiotics is just not the answer. Secondly, self-medication this is another table that is really big of everyone lots of us, a lot of us sit on it self-medication is very bad we're not supposed to be taking just about any drug because we feel this is what we're supposed to take before you take any drug consult your doctor or your pharmacist because Sometimes we don't need drugs for some certain kind of conditions we have. Sometimes our body is quite capable of fighting whatever condition we have. We don't really need drug for it. But then when you take drugs, especially without consulting a, a doctor or someone who is medically oriented, you're putting yourself at risk. A lot of people have died because they have taken drugs that they were not supposed to take and that ended up causing a big problem for them this is a very big problem in our people in our community and we have to try not to fall into the trap of self-medication please consult your doctor before you consume any drug next profit now why do i say profit this mainly targets the chemist well chemist as we call it in nigeria for those who don't know what a chemist um, is, who a chemist is, a chemist is actually uh, a salesperson, somebody who sells drugs, well, opens a shop or maybe he or she lends under a pharmacist and then opens his or her own shop and starts selling drugs to people. That is who a chemist is. Now, we've said it in the last video, chemist no be doctor. 
chemist na person will learn work. So I will not personally I won't advise anybody to go to a chemist. Go to a doctor or a certified pharmacist. These people are the people who can actually help you when you have an infection or a condition that needs medication. Go to a doctor or pharmacist, not a chemist. Because these people, they are profit oriented. They are driven by money. They just want their money to be flowing like my cup running over. If you go to a chemist, he will just put lots of concussion for you. And 99.9% .9 of the times, there is always an antibiotic contained in that concussion. Sometimes they even put two or three types of antibiotics and they give it to you to take. Please, if you are going to meet a chemist, even after we've told you that it's not advisable, look for a second opinion. If you have a doctor friend or someone who knows a doctor, you can ask the person to tell you or to explain to you if he or she thinks that for the condition you have an antibiotic is necessary. Look for a second opinion. Research is very, very important for us to research because when you research, you gain knowledge about a lot of things. So lastly, lots of these chemists that we go to, they don't really have the knowledge about most of the conditions that we individuals could have at a certain point in time. To me, what they do is like A plus B is equal to C, find X. X is not even in the equation. To me, that's what they do. You go, they give you lots of drugs, and you don't even know, you go home, you take it. Before you know it, your case is complicated. You, don't, you think it's the condition that you have that is causing these problems for you. You don't know that it's because of the drugs that you've been given that is making your situation worse. So we need to be very careful about antibiotics abuse. We need to be very careful about the drugs we take into our bodies because our bodies is very, very delicate. Anything you put inside is what it ref it's what reflects. So please and please do not abuse your medication. Okay. So now we know we're not supposed to abuse antibiotics. We know what is what causes people to abuse antibiotics. Now we need to know what are the effects of you abusing antibiotics. So number one is something that we call resistance in medicine. Okay. So basically resistance occurs when you take a medicine, for example, in this case, antibiotics. So you take your antibiotics, your doctor has told you that you need to take your antibiotics for seven days. And because you begin to see that you feel better around the third day of taking the medicine, you decide to stop the medication. Now in medicine, when you take a medication, you begin to see the effect of the medication within 72 hours of taking the medicine. So that's why sometimes you go to the hospital and your doctor gives you a medicine and you take it for one day. And because after one day you're not seeing any um, changes, you're not feeling that you're getting better, you think your doctor doesn't know what he's doing. Actually, drugs take 72 hours for them to begin to show their effect on you. Now, on the other hand, if you take the medicine for after three, four days and you begin to see that you feel better, you no longer have fever or cough, you're not supposed to stop taking the medicine. You have to complete it. When you stop this medicine halfway through, it causes resistance. Okay? Another thing that causes resistance is when we take antibiotics for no reason. We as Nigerians especially, we like antibiotics, eh? We go take antibiotics for headache, we go take antibiotics for belly pain, anything we want to take antibiotics. When you take antibiotics for no reason, you also cause resistance. Now, waiting happen, waiting they happen for your body when they make us talk, say you get resistance. Bacteria is where they your body when you suppose use antibiotics kill. If your doctor tell you say that seven days you need to kill this bacteria where you get, you have to take the medicine for seven days. If not, you take and three days, you kill some bacteria, some still they there. So now this bacteria is when we met, they'll come from or they she like nothing do me. Okay, because they've seen the kind of antibiotics you have taken, they've seen how the antibiotics work. Now they're going to be like resistant to the antibiotics. The same thing happens when you take antibiotics for no reason. 
okay your the bacteria begin to interpret or understand how the me, me, um, the medicine works because normally these medicines they are meant to catch the bacteria by surprise so you start taking it but they i don't see okay now so this medicine they work so i know how i will take defend myself so the resistance is actually the bacteria's defense mechanism against the antibiotics you are taking now and um, bacteria are very dangerous even worse than viruses because mm -hmm. virus for virus to become resistant mm -hmm. they have to give birth to a new virus replicate okay so now this speaking with them born now they will come teach them how to defend itself against the um anti um uh, the antiviral drugs you're taking now in the case of bacteria it's different bacteria no need get belly bone picking bacteria can pass resistance from one bacteria to another mm -hmm. for example if two of us are bacteria now if i find out say I feel to um, get resistance to the. I feel resist the effect of these antibiotics. I don't develop a means when I go fit use resist these antibiotics. I go come teach them. Mm -hmm. She go come teach the next bacteria, and so mm -hmm. they teach themselves. So they, they don't work. They go exactly. So it's just like horizontally. They don't need to multiply or replicate or have a new generation to become resistant. The same generation can just keep teaching themselves yeah. how to become resistant. So that's when we talk about resistance. Now, resistance is very dangerous. People are dying from resistance, okay? Because studies have shown that the rate at which people are abusing antibiotics and dying from resistance by the year 2000 to 2050, we'll be losing about 10 million people per year from resistance to antibiotics mm -hmm. so this is very very important we need to be very careful take antibiotics only when you need it another effect of antibiotics abuse is side effects we already know side effects are symptoms or complications you can get from taking a medicine so you can have side effects and every medicine gets side effects if you know no no i'm now mm -hmm. every medicine gets side effects it's just that when you use medicine, you have to look at the pros and cons. Yeah. Okay, now the, the advantage is more than the disadvantage, but every medicine gets side effect. Okay, so antibiotics get different side effects. So if you take antibiotics, whether you need them or you don't need them, you fit get side effects. Mm -hmm. Side effect feel be rash. You, you can't they scratch, scratch up and down. You don't notice that the antibiotics they cause them. Antibiotics feel cause nausea, if it cause um, that, diarrhea. Okay, when I go they purge, 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 when I don't know what they cause them. It didn't say na food when you eat from our food, or you think that you from the food you ate outside you got um, like an intestinal upset and you're having diarrhea, but no, it's the antibiotics that is um, showing its side effects in you. So antibiotics have really bad side effects, and most importantly, they can affect your kidney. And we all know how important our kidneys are. Yeah. If you have a problem with your kidney, now wahala. So antibiotics are that powerful. Okay. Another thing that we need to know is intestinal floral disturbance. What do we call intestinal floral disturbance? Is a disturbance of the good bacteria that you have. Normally, all of us have good bacteria that God has put in our mouth, um, in our intestines, in our stomach to protect us. So all these bacteria now then be the good ones. They are working now to protect us, now to help us um, digest our food. So now when you take antibiotics for no reason, when you abuse antibiotics, you destroy these good bacteria. So you lose your protection of your intestinal walls, and then you also have problem with digestion of food. And that's another reason why people have diarrhea. Okay, you go just the purge, the purge. That's because the good bacteria are supposed to help you digest your food are not there anymore because you've destroyed all of them by abusing antibiotics. Okay, so this is very important. Another thing is interference. Antibiotics can interfere with other drugs. Generally, all drugs can interfere. That's yeah. why when you go to your doctor, your doctor will ask you, are you taking any medication? Basically, it's for him to know what medicine to give you because if you take a, med a particular medicine with another medicine, it can interfere. So one can stop the other one from functioning. So sometimes your doctor might even tell you, you have to stop this medicine for now until you finish taking this one mm -hmm. so that it can uh, to avoid interference. 
So antibiotics can interfere with other drugs. If you're taking antibiotics for no reason, it can interfere with any other drug you are taking. For example, our sisters mm -hmm. that are taking birth control pills. Mm -hmm. Antibiotics interfere with birth control pills. Yeah. Here I am now. True story. It interferes with birth control pills. So you're abusing antibiotics and you think that you are protected from getting pregnant, unwanted pregnancy. My sister knows so you can't get belay, you can't they ask, what thing happen? I be this medicine where they take to protect myself, you know they work. No, check yourself. You've probably been abusing antibiotics and that's why you've had an interference and the antibiotics has reduced the potency of your birth control pills. And so you get unwanted pregnancy and then we before we know we are thinking abortion or you are dropping out of school. So many unnecessary things because you were abusing antibiotics. Mm -hmm. So it's very important we know what happens every time we abuse antibiotics now knowing what causes the abuse knowing what happens when we abuse antibiotics what can we do to stop it number one you have to make sure that you have a bacterial infection the fact that you have fever or you're coughing and you're bringing out flame blue red whatever the color is doesn't mean you have an um, um, bacterial infection you need to confirm through blood test or urine test you need to confirm that you have a bacterial infection before you can take antibiotics like she said antibiotics are specifically for bacterial infections. infections so you need to confirm by doing a test now another way to control this abuse is once you have this test that shows that you have a bacterial infection you also need to talk to your doctor you need to ask your doctor confirm from your doctor if you really need an antibiotic for the infection because mm -hmm. some bacterial infections are very light very simple you don't need an antibiotic for them so you need to confirm from your doctor that you need an antibiotic for this medicine for this um, infection before you take antibiotics thirdly education what we're doing is educating you people about the harmful effects of abusing antibiotics so now our responsibility as doctors is to educate you people and your responsibility is to in turn educate other people who might not have access to this video so you can educate your co-workers your neighbors people who do not have the access to this video you can educate them on this effect that you've heard about um, the effect of um, abusing antibiotics that you've learned from us and that way we can help each other we can just keep spreading the news to other people and that way we will be conscious of what we are doing lastly use antibiotics based on the prescription your doctor prescription your doctor has given you if your doctor says seven days take your antibiotics for seven days even if you begin to feel better on the fourth day you need to complete the medicine please so that this bacteria you know when they form or they she for mm -hmm. also forget the same bacteria then smart yeah die. they get sense they get sense die Eh? So if doctors say take and seven days, my brother, my take sister, it for seven take days. it for seven days. Make bacteria not on the form say then sabi pass us. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so we need to protect ourselves, we need to protect our family mm -hmm. members. So we just need to spread this information to help ourselves. So basically, this is what we have for you this week, and we hope that you've really, really enjoyed this topic and you've really learned a lot, which is really yeah. very important to us. So our next topic is going to be um, regulation and completion of your medication. So it's another big table. That another we table shake. we want to shake. Eh? Another table we and we know that many of us eh? are sitting on the table. Okay, so shake, shake it and break it. Maybe okay. Before. But anyway, we just want to say a very big thank, thank you. you. Like big like this. My God, the love we got for the first video we posted like too much my love, God. too much love, mad excess love, love. Really, mad love. Thank I'm you, serious. thank you, thank you. We, we love never expected it. Okay. I'm serious. We never expected it at all. <laughs> thank you, guys. The reception people were was subscribing. awesome. People were sharing. People were liking. Yeah. People were motivating us. Really, like, we need the we're motivation. So motivated right, right now, now. we are thank so into so this much. thing. Eh? Thank you guys so much. From your much. motivation. So really, like, thank you. Oh, Continue liking, you. continue commenting, continue subscribing, continue sharing. That's your big girl, boy. Go tell them. Everybody. Go tell them. May you enter the boss. Way. Tell them. Exactly. Anyway, you should preach the good news. Oh, exactly. It's the good news and we must share it for everybody to, <laughs> to understand. Yes. So please, eh? Just continue doing the good work yeah, you're doing. We are not doing so it alone. We're all doing it together. Mm -hmm. So we make the video and you help us 
share to other people so we're working together and gradually we're going to make nigeria better yeah and we're going to make the health system better yeah and we're also going to help other people who are non-nigerians please oh non-nigerians don't feel like we are removing you from the equation we love you all. you're part of the equation we are, we are focusing on our people because we know ourselves yeah. we know it is us it is we we so we know ourselves <laughs> Anyway, so thank you, thank you, thank very, you guys very, very much. much, and see you guys next week for our next, next week. Video. Don't miss it, really, don't miss it. Bye. Ciao, ciao.